one thing she was sure of, that the precepts do unto others as you would have them do unto you, love your neighbor as yourself, and so forth, were maxims that had been but little thought of by herself or practiced by those about her. Her next decision was that she must leave the city. It was no place for her. Yea, she felt called in spirit to leave it and to travel east and lecture. She had never been farther east than the city. Neither had she any friends there of whom she had particular reason to expect anything. Yet to her it was plain that her mission lie in the east and that she would find friends there. Having made what preparations for leaving she deemed necessary, which was to put a few articles of clothing in a pillowcase, all else being deemed unnecessary encumbrance, about an hour before she left, she informed Mrs. Whiting, the woman of the house where she was stopping, that her name was no longer Isabella, but Sojourner, and she was going east. And to her inquiry, what are you going east for? Her answer was, the spirit calls me there, and I must go.